Don Rickles has just returned from the veterinarian where he gets his monthly distemper shot. Uh, I thought I'd get mine in early because once he gets out, who knows? Uh, Don opens December the 3rd at the Nanuet Theater go-round in New York. Uh, with Jerry Butler. He's currently appearing at the Riviera Hotel and will be in the lobby right after the show to insult your mother. Would you welcome Don Rickles? I just wish the band pimples all over their stomach. <laughs> Bunch of dumbbells, you give them a toy and they go crazy. <laughs> Leo, it's so good to it's see you. It's good to see you. Oh, by the way. So now to Tony, be sure and say hello to you. He said, be sure and say hello to Don Rickles. Frank said that, Leo? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's everything to me, Leo. I got all his albums. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, I swear I always loved you when you played with the Cubs. I remember the days with the Cubs, with the Wrigley's. Joan and Bill, they said to me, give the joint gum. <laughs> it was so great, I swear. Ed, Good to see you, Don. Last yes. time I saw you was at a party. You yeah. love Hollywood now. He's standing on the corner going, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> You got a problem. You ought to dry out. You know? <laughs> we'll be with you in a minute. I'll start with You've been sitting in the hall again with your robe open. <laughs> John, it's good to see you. Thank you, Don. It's my, nice hey, my you. pleasure. Thanks so much. <laughs> Here she is, Miss America, Tanganyika. Loved <laughs> Miss America? Now, <laughs> listen, uh, let me I ask, don't know. Let me ask you about oh, what happened. Right, look on the sheet and Just... see what your question is. <laughs> Forty million hosts. We got to get the one guy to flunk the immigration <laughs> test. <laughs> You, you drop in. <laughs> have you got it all out now? Yeah. Okay, good. Just settle down. It was so good to see Leo, really. Remember the old days, Leo, with Pepper Martin and Ducky Medwick, huh? Oh, yeah. Remember at shortstop when you went, it's through my legs. <laughs> you weren't around. Well, you what do you mean I wasn't age? around? Of course. It you... wasn't all the time that way. Well, Leo, I love when he argued with the young. I'm so delighted. Not for you, and not for Ed, but this guy, since I'm a kid, I, I don't think the public realizes, well, I'm sure they do, the greatest of all time. They were at baseball when we were kids. They say to me, remember we had the gum cards? Certainly. In the alley? Huh? I'll give you two Ducky Medwicks for one Zeke Benora. And uh, remember Zeke Benora? Yes, Zeke Benora. Getting well. old, Leo. <laughs> Leo's starting to sit there going, he's too fast for me. <laughs> remember when you stood on a coaching line? Excuse me, may I stand up? Yes. The camera guy went, the, uh, Bobby Quinn in the booth went, he's moving. <laughs> I love when they stand on the car. Hot your head, baby, hot your head, baby. Hot your head, babe. And the black kid's going, huh? <laughs> Not only that, but the Mexican kid's going, the can of banana, can of banana, banana, banana. And the Puerto Rican guy is, I'm under it. <laughs> and the catch is going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Did I know it was gonna bounce? <laughs> did you did you ever play baseball? I tell you, John, I don't know about you in school. You went to Nebraska University, right? Yes, I did go to the What school did you go to, Ed? Boston College. Who cares? You, yeah. <laughs> you went to did you went to Boston College. Yes, right. What it what it it's not a rally. <laughs> But Boston, well, Boston doesn't have a bad football team. But I got news. In baseball, I was always the kind of guy, Leo, since I'm a kid, Johnny, I love baseball. I always, uh, even on the, when uh, 
Jack Gillardi, who was a guy when I was with GAC at that time, they used to have all the celebrity baseball team. I loved baseball, and I was a pretty speedy outfielder, never a good hitter, just like you, Leo. Uh, <laughs> but Leo was the kind of guy, when you were playing shortstop, he's the only guy that played shortstop and at the end of the season owed points on his batting average. <laughs> but uh, the, the girls are going, what does that mean, Harry? <laughs> But Leo was not a power hitter. He was, you yeah. know, a punch hitter like Eddie Stanky, right, Leo? Ping pong hitter. Ping pong hitter, whatever you say, Leo. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know what I mean, do you? Of course, no, ping pong. Go ahead. Uh, what is a ping pong? Go ahead, go ahead. No, a ping pong hitter is like a Texas leaguer over the infield. Yes, Little drop right. shots. I know, I've been around. Right. Frank told me I was around. Sinatra, did you ever meet Sinatra? What? Did you ever meet, are these too fast for you? <laughs> yes, <right. laughs> Did you ever meet Sinatra? No. Uh-uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> going back to the old club days. No, but, but, the, but the whole thing is... It's you talked just, about when you were youngsters, where you were. Right. And I, uh, I was never the guy that made the squad. Loved the game. Mm -hmm. Always loved the game. Loved baseball. Loved football. Never hockey. Well, Jewish people usually don't play hockey. I mean, you know, sliding and running and hitting. We don't believe in that. I you, know, you just stand on the sideline with a blowgun. <laughs> <laughs> Italian guys play hockey. <laughs> Phil Esposito, Marco Mangano, <laughs> Aldo Bonini punching into the boards. They love that physical contact. <laughs> Jewish people retreat, and then we wait for our chance and they go. <laughs> <laughs> and the black people, they don't do that. They go, ain't gonna fight nobody. <laughs> and the Polish guys go, is there a war on? <laughs> These are all ethnic things. Well, certainly they Today are. is a different time, John, which you don't have to uh, go along with, but I know you do, because in life, we have to laugh at our heritage. Laugh, laugh at our I heritage. I laugh at your heritage. I laugh at your heritage. We're midwit. What are we, on tape? <laughs> <laughs> Nixon just went, who said tape? <laughs> anyway. Uh, Tell me about what happened in Chicago. It was in the papers that you uh, were the victim of a robbery in Chicago with five other people. Well, I, I tell you, I don't like to play. Oh, I don't, uh, if you don't want to. Uh, no, it's nothing. Uh, there, were, there, were, there were gentlemen in a hotel that, uh, there are thieves in life. And I'll tell you, that's more pretty, power that's to pretty them. Deep. No, I got news. I got news. If a guy wants to steal, uh, that's his thing. And I got news. It could bother them uh, about that much because that's their way of life. Yeah. I only felt bad that uh, sensitive and important things to my wife and I were taken, yeah. which, were, which I don't want to go into, but You're we're very sentimental. Pop. Pardon me? You're yeah, wonderful. <laughs> Guy in the back field, your hockey puck. Hope you take a bath tonight and the tub sucks you under. <laughs> no, I know what you're talking. There's stuff you can't replace. Right, and it's sensitive things that, that mean a great deal to you, you know. Yeah. A picture of you was taken. <laughs> and the captain of police in Chicago went, honest to God. <laughs> They never caught anybody at all? No, they never did. There was a guy in the lobby with a mask on and a gun. They said he's probably just dressing up for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this fun, Leo? You're staying up late, yeah, huh? We'll take, a, <laughs> we'll take a brief pause, but we're coming right back. We are back. I didn't mean to bring up that robbery if it, if it bothered no, that's you at okay. all. This, I, you know. I, don't like to, I just don't like to endorse something that I don't believe in, and certainly we don't believe in thieves. Well, I wasn't asking for an endorsement of it. No, of course not, but I know when well, I was just, robbed, you were the first one to call and go, hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> no, not really. He didn't do that. But the <laughs> robberies are kind of, you know, kind of a shame. You know, the wife, they took everything from the wife. They didn't touch anything of mine, and I just watched TV. You weren't, in uh, the, you weren't in the room at the time, luckily. No, thank God. We weren't in the room at the time. And when it was all over, we came back. And the superintendent of police of Chicago, which uh, wonderful Leo knows, because he was with the Cubs for a lot of years. And you did the same job you did for the Astros. And um, you had to put that there. No, nah, that's a joke. The best manager in life. You kidding? I'll never forget in, when you're with the Dodgers, when you said to one of the greatest, I mean, well, not with the Dodgers, really, when you're with the Astros, when you said to Philippe Alou, you said Philippe Alou, one of the greatest, who was with a former giant, and Willie Mays, who you said many, many times was the greatest center fielder of all time. Didn't you That's say right. that? And I said to Willie, you know, Leo said you were the greatest center fielder of all times, and Willie Mays, I'll never forget it, he said to me, who said that? <laughs> and I said, Leo said that. He said, what does Leo know? And that was about it. <laughs> That's not true. I make that up. But you are a great manager. We're going to miss you in baseball. If you got a great offer tomorrow, would you come back in baseball? Uh, now, now your truth. No As chance. the good Lord watches over all of us. No chance. There is no way? No way. I had a deal for him. Well, he's, he's I had a deal, Leo. You could come back. We miss you. Young people need guys like you because he talks to ball players. You ever watch him with an umpire? 
He's the most fantastic man with an umpire. Like he says, bumping an umpire. You're, you're a big guy. What, what is it? Okay, Donatelli, who's the big guy? The biggest guy as uh, a... Uh, Major Kurt used to be, and then Tom Gorman. Tom Gorman. Uh, he's about as big as Ed. 6'3", yes, right, Ed? Right, right. About now, what do you weigh, Ed? 196. We in the war? <laughs> 196. No, here's, here's the way Leo stood. Stand, may I, John? Certainly. I you Certainly. I... Because after all, we can't hear about you all the time. <laughs> now, here's, here's the whole thing. Now, he's standing here. Now, this is the truth, John. Now, if you know Leo... He always stands. Look, let's stand out over here. Okay. okay? <laughs> you get a dance? Shine on. Shine. My God, you're a good dancer. <laughs> Do you dip it all? <laughs> no. Okay. No. See, he goes like this. You say to me, you are out. You are out. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Wait a minute. I hit you in the head. Now it looks bad in front of the audience that I hurt you, Ed. You hurt me. A big six-foot guy, 197 pounds. I bumped you on the head, and you cried in front of these people. I'm sorry, Ed. That hurts even I'm, worse. I'm really sorry. I didn't know I had this I feeling for you. <laughs> But anyway, Leo had that, yeah. that great okay. aggressiveness. Ed's not a very good straight man at these things, but... <laughs> well, you hit him right in the head. Well, so what? It wasn't deliberate. When the audience is looking in, you don't act like you're hurt. You pretend like it's fun. And then later, you sue. <laughs> have you ever been sued for anything you've said in your act by anybody in the audience? No, because I have the greatest manager in the world. Joe Scandore has brought me along for 20 years, and I got news. My intent, see, it's the intent. My intent is to make people laugh. When people come to see me, I invite them, not personally, but if they enjoy me, I am grateful. If they don't, well, gee, I hope I win them back the next time. Can I ask you something? Do you have a cord on your neck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get the feeling I'm talking to a Gentile puppet at a show. <laughs> I'll need you to tell uh, you know, I mean, no, so I don't, I don't think about that, as well as Leo doesn't think about umpires, as well as Ed doesn't think about his head that's bothering him now and throbbing. You ever turn on me, Ed, I got enough on you, you'll be in court for two years. <laughs> Not you, Johnny, because you're clean now. <laughs> you see, even the audience went, but Johnny fools around. <laughs> no, Johnny's happily married and so am I. May we be paralyzed if we would cheat. Right, John? <laughs> <laughs> He's just recently divorced. Leo's happily married. Was it 12? No. Oh. Anyway, no, I know his lovely wife, Lynn. She's at home going, Thursday he dies. Oh. And Johnny, you're Well, married? yes, but now wait a second. What? <laughs> we were married. You didn't get married until you were 38 years right, old. Right, because I knew what you guys were walking into. No, I got news. I was married. You didn't want to jeopardize your career working gay bars. No, That's the... why you didn't get married. Now, each one of us here, every one of us here, Ed, you've been through life, and I got news, you had some good years, and I'm not being sarcastic. <laughs> Leo, you've been married. By the way, I'll tell you how close Leo and I are. My home, which the address shall be nameless, I bought Leo DeRoche's home when he was married, which is no secret, to Lorraine Day, right? That's right. And what happened was the pipes, you have, we have, what do you call it, radi radi radiant heat. Radiant heat. See how I went to school when the bell rings, I used to go to gym. <laughs> We had radiant heat, and all of a sudden the pipes busted under the floor. Now we have parquet flooring, which I didn't know, you know. I used to live in three rooms with my father, and we used to sit in the living room going, <laughs> Now my mother's gonna call from Florida, your father was not crude! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sure is, because I'm going for a bundle every week. Anyway, <laughs> so Leo, I called up. We didn't, know, we didn't know what to do. And my wife, I married the lovely lady who's a Valium. So I called up my wife. I said, I uh, called up my wife. You see how close we are. I called up. Uh, I said to Barbara, I said, Barbara, what are we going to do? The pipes broke. We don't know about radiant heating. She said, listen, this was Leo DeRosha and Lorraine Day's home at one time. So let's. Reach Leo DeRosha. As you can see, my wife's a rocket scientist. So I said to her, that's the way we make love, that same tempo. When I get through with her, I think I'm with Sammy Kay. So uh, it's a little too deep for you. 
Oh, hold it down, you. You bunch of perverts, you. <laughs> Look at that. Doc Severinsen thinks that's a town in Utah. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> So anyway, I called up Leo and I said, Leo in Chicago, I said, Leo, what do we do about the radiant heating? He said to me, well, Don, I don't know, but call up Lorraine, my ex-wife, she's a lovely lady, which you said, and you'll reach her. And I woke her up in the middle of the night sometime and I said, uh, uh, Miss Day, she said, my name is no longer Miss Day, it's Koala Chaka Chica, whatever it is. Gorillicus. Gorillicus, <laughs> which is, right. <laughs> <laughs> Lorraine Gorillicus, make love to Cary Grant, don't make it on the screen. <laughs> Hello, Lorraine Gorillicus. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so anyway, that broke me. Why'd up. you call her about the heating? Because she had the heating? plans. Lorraine had the plans, and I never met the lady. And if she's listening, and Lorraine, you're a darling lady, and I wish you and your new husband a lot. Well, new husband, they're married many years now, and I'm sure Leo feels the same. Wish well, you. Why a lot didn't of you just call the heating people? And because have them they didn't even know. The heating guy comes over with earphones. <laughs> now this is the truth, right? right. He's so got to come over with a stethoscope the... and go like this, and he's laying around the floor. And I said, No, we don't want Nazi film. <laughs> <laughs> We just want heat in the house, you know what I'm saying? Could you have a commercial? Okay. Certainly we'll do that. Okay, but we're coming right back. Here's Ed. See, so you don't see drip and dry suits on a big name anymore. <laughs> <laughs> From Alpo. Olga Connolly is with us tonight. She has competed in the last five Olympic Games in 1956. She uh, won a gold medal uh, for, the, uh, for Czechoslovakia in the discus throw. In 1972, she was captain of the women's track and field team, and... Uh, She's currently Director of Recreation at Loyola Marymount University. Would you welcome, please, Olga Vitakova Connolly. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Looks like we have something dangerous planned here tonight, and I hope I can get uh, Rickles and uh, Mr. DeRocher involved in this also, just for the fun of it. Uh, <laughs> You had a uh, you had an article in uh, I think Los Angeles Times after the uh, Billie Jean King uh, Bobby Riggs tennis match, and you said uh, I think in effect that there are a lot of sports that women can compete on an equal par with men. True, not just only tennis. She obviously well, proved she can beat him. Yes, they can, but there are certain limitations. I mean, if you take a man and a woman who are equally trained and mm -hmm. approximately the same size, then there's a if strength is involved and speed, then the man is most likely to win. Right. And therefore, it's not a good idea just to brush aside this whole question of uh, opportunity for women competition. Right. And um, say, well, high school girls can compete on a men's teams. It just wouldn't work that way. We have to have a very good program where women compete against other women and get recognized in their own category. Mm -hmm. There are only very few sports that you could call a unisex sport, like skeet shooting or pistol yeah. shooting, because that's a matter of reflexes and coordination. And the male-female <coughs> co coordination compares about the same. No, but what you're saying is that a event like skiing, men, because of their strength, are probably be stronger yes. skiers yes. than women, and they could never really compete yes. uh, in that kind of an event. Yeah, and also greater stability of joints and so forth. It, uh, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't mean that the female is inferior or constructed right. in an inferior way, but simply there isn't as powerful fatigues easier. Right. Now, you threw the discus. Mm -hmm. Now, you could beat the, the average man in the discus throw, could you not? How far did you oh, throw the yes, discus? Yes, I can, because I'll have superior skills, and the average man isn't trained. Or but that's not a particular strength it's, thing? That's more timing than it is both. strength? It's timing and strength, especially nowadays, you have to do a lot of weightlifting. Yeah. You have to have quite a, like when I was in Munich, I could bench press, you know, the bench press is 200 Lander. pounds. Could bench press uh, 200 yeah. pounds? Yeah, and I could uh, make a deep knee bend with about 390. A something. deep knee bend with 390 <laughs> pounds on your shoulders? <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> It sure. kind of, a lot of women. It, it, it doesn't hurt your legs so much, but you can, you put the weight on and you feel your spine, the vertebrae going. But you, you sing very high for the next 10 years. Or so. It's murder if you have a beef with the hubby. Yes. Uh, do you, a lot of women are against weightlifting. They think it makes them, they think it makes them muscular. It's not true. No, it, it gives you definition. Right. But um, it doesn't built like those, what they call the big ugly muscles. The I remember when I came to this country, 
my first uh, meeting was in New York, and people came actually down from the stands, and they wanted to feel my muscles because and they thought that. But uh, you're, you're not muscular. You have, you mean your arms? Well, are, I, I am mus We all are muscular. I mean, that's. Well, I mean, you know, but I mean, you don't, muscles. you don't have like big biceps. Uh, no, you don't have big biceps. This, uh, only uh, in order to build a big biceps, you have to work on it very right. hard. And, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we're, we're going to try a few things, which we have not rehearsed at all. Uh, Greg kind of set up these events. Uh, what could I compete with you in, or the rest of us here? Well, I, I don't know. They kind of tricked me. They, they told me to wear a sweatsuit. And, you know, all these years, I kind of dreamt about being on Johnny Carson's show. And You'd like to come one of those and, yeah, yeah, nice yeah, yeah, beautiful things. Uh, excuse me, Olga, I didn't hear. Did you, uh, and probably you asked, where, what country are you from originally? Czechoslovakia. Oh, bless your heart. We were in Yugoslavia, so that's a beautiful... Uh, I, know, that's, uh, I know the that's area. The, yeah, it's, it's a neighbor. Thank it's you for that travel log. Dobra. in Czech. Oh, my Czech corrupt. What is that, you hockey puck in Czechoslovakia? What a terrible thing. No, that thing. just means I'm lonely. Yeah. <laughs> what, what can we try now? Well, we can uh, try some sit-ups. <laughs> sit-ups. Like sit but he told me you'd be wearing some warm-up suit. No, I don't really have anything, but I can take my jacket off or something. What's that mean? That's it. Arm wrestling? Arm wrestling. That's not an event, though, in the Olympics, is it? No, it isn't. But, but a wide world of sports had that on uh, one afternoon with well, these lumberjacks somewhere up in Oregon where they... <laughs> Where they do this, uh, the hand wrestling? That's right, yeah. yeah. They're incredible, women and men. Mm. Now, is that, that's pr only strength, isn't it? Yes, that's on. Well, they, they have timing. Some, I guess there's some timing involved, too. Now, I'm not very good at it. Huh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can see this coming over. Can I take my jacket off? <laughs> sure, do whatever you want, sir. Sure. Thank you. Have this back Thursday. Surely. <laughs> Eddie, have it back Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> now, how does this work? I think, I think like this. Okay, now... Don't, don't, don't I get in like this? Is that, isn't, like it, this? isn't it thumbs? That's right. Is, like that, that? is that right? Now, the elbows now, have to... No, are we supposed to go this way or that way? Table, what? You can't hang on with your left arm. No, the, the, you, you, can, you can just... You can, all right, That's no it. left arm. That's it. All right, now you have to go this way and I have to go the other way. Is that it? That's okay. it. Atta boy. And we say on your mark, it said go. Right, okay, that will be fine, yes. I will referee this one, John. Go! Oh, <laughs> oh, don't make me else. laugh because when I laugh. If I don't make you laugh, I'm gonna you're gonna break my arm. You're strong. No, you're strong. I was really, I was doing the best I could do there. No, you were. Oh, yes, I was. And you're strong. <laughs> Wait. Now, what? This, this, I don't know what. what now, we are supposed to play basketball. <coughs> Basket sit-ups first? And sit-ups. Well, now, that's, those are rough, aren't they? Sit-ups, yeah. Sit-ups? <laughs> what? You want to get involved in this, Rickles? Oh, hey, whatever, whatever you say, coach. You come, come on. Come on over. Come on over. You know, Eddie, hold oh, the same Eddie. coat, Eddie. Shirley, hold the same coat, Shirley. I'll referee. Okay. I'm going to referee. You're going to referee? I'll referee. Oh, good. I'll kick some lime on your pants. That's all right. <laughs> right this way, Olga. <laughs> <laughs> Olga, but now we're going to have dinner in the pool. <laughs> what, what are we going to do? <laughs> oh, he's mind. got sneakers and I'm wearing... Why, why are you dressed for the whole because, thing? Because, no, no. Don't we have to... If you do sit-ups, doesn't somebody have to hold your feet? No, you, you, you do that. You sit down. No, no, you just bend your knee. Just what? like this. Yeah. Bend your knee. All right, you just. Well, I just do I do sit down. Well, oh, fine. Do we have a picnic blanket? <laughs> it's better to have bent knees yeah. and have a and just push your feet against the floor, and I that see. way you don't need anybody to hold your no, feet. What are we no, do? we don't. You know, we have the. I don't know if I should bring it up, but we. <laughs> We do. Yeah, the two what? brothers who. who What'd she say? But that's all right. But we won't. We, it does. All right. Now what do we, we do? We arms. Arms like that. All right. Oh. How many do we do? I think uh, it was supposed to be timed. 
Timed? First at 25. First? What do you mean first at 25? <laughs> well, 20, 25? Did you ever try to do Good. 25 sit-ups? Get emergency squad here. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, let's give it a try. Get the oxygen. You're right here. Okay. There's no way. But, wait, somebody will start. I'm referee. I will start. There's no way you're going to do 25. You I'm two. hip. I know that. Go ahead. Start. Okay. Go. Go. Come on, Don. Hey, One. Go. Two. No, I'm three. Not. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Keep your feet down. Nine. Right, so many ten. Hands. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fifteen. 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 <laughs> Just the one on one thing? Uh, one on two. Uh, one, one on two, two on three, hike. Uh, <laughs> Germany's ball. Three <laughs> oh, how do we do this? You take, I try to guard you while you go in, but yeah. then you can try her next. You All right, I'll be the referee. All oh, right, you be the referee, and then, okay. Maybe you, since I have a sweat suit and you, you don't, I can play both of you. You could do whatever you want, all day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, we got to go. All right, ready? I'm the referee. Hey, hey. Oh, you take it out? Is that it? Uh, what's take a what do you Think, think, dumbbell, think. Watch this. Okay, Olga, you, you try it. Now. Now. Your turn. You, you try, try to score. I'll guard you. I'll guard you. Okay, Olga? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, oh. Ah! Came from another country, try to be humble. <laughs> now, I'll, I'll go, okay? Okay. If I rub up against you, it's only in the you game. You can't. <laughs> that, was a, that was a double dribble. Oh, oh, oh. You had a double dribble. You can't dribble. The it's story not. of my life. I'm here. <laughs> Once you start to you okay. can't. All right, all right, don't all get right. so technical. Do it. Hang on back. I love you, Olga. <laughs> Cover me, Olga. Move, move. Make sure I don't start score. Start <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I know you can't. I hope that's you, Olga. Because oh. you're starting to make me smile. <laughs> Me, Two <laughs> shots, number four, pushing off. His time out, Cleveland. <laughs> you try to score on Mr. Carson. Uh, uh, shoot again, Olga. Yeah. I'll cover, can I cover Johnny? You can the ring over. And I'll cover you, Carson. Okay, watch this. Quite <laughs> 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 right. I love you. <laughs> To do. <laughs> Keep dribbling. Keep dribbling. Okay. Now you call me. One more. One more right, shot. Uh, okay. Wait, well, you tired, old okay. man? No, I'm not tired. When they get old, they start to. The <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we used to play on my team back in Nebraska. <laughs> what? What is this? Oh, we got something else? Oh. What is this? A big slice of mozzarella cheese or what? What do we do on this? Okay, what is this, Olga? You kids do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Uh, this is a... 
And this is a fantastic unit. This wait, is a wait, pull me over. Wait, show you me quickly. What's wrong with you? Check the walk in the morning. <laughs> what are we doing here? Now, this will be, we can uh, line up in a row. Line up like this. What do we do? And uh, <clears throat> we will step up. Oh, this will kill you. This will kill you. We'll uh, step up to a full extension of the knee and all the way up to the toe. Oh. And it's an exercise uh, for your legs and as well for your heart because it's just like running a uh, long the staircase. You stand completely up. <clears throat> stand completely up and come down, exchange feet, exchange then you feet. go lift, run. It's like the step test, the six step test. That's right. Very good. That's what it's like, the step test. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Now, I think we all do what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Who can do more of this up, in the 30 up, seconds? Up and down. 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 I got it. Uh, but somebody's going to... That's no, right. let's just do it as long as we can, okay? okay. We do it as long as we can. Then when we fall over, we are dead. <laughs> are you making fun out of my accent? Yes. No, you your accent fun. is beautiful, my darling. We need that. Let's go. go. Oh, oh, sorry. Look at this. Go. Left. Left. Oh, the left. Right. I'm on the right here. Left. 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 Come on, John. Left. Right. Left. Old man. Left. Right. <laughs> What are you proving, Jake? What are you proving? <laughs> then he'll go home to the wife and go, where's my robe? That's it. That's it. That's Good. it. I'm going home. Boy, this is a lot of fun. What? Faster. What do you mean, faster? <laughs> After this brief word from our sponsor, we'll return with more of our show. No, I no. love you. <laughs>